All right, so once you get your footage organized, we will open a new project and we'll call it your name. Sixth Ave. Put it in your proper media folder. And we will import and we will import our playback footage. Next we will make a new sequence. We want it to be HDV 1080p uh, 30 frames per second. And we'll call that your name 6th Ave Director Cut. Then we'll drag in our footage and what we're going to do is we're just going to trim the head and tail before we start editing. So we're going to lop off the first five seconds and we'll go to second 44 and we will trim off, actually let me unlink it. I just want to trim the, the video to that. Then we will that we will need to edit. So once you're done editing, you'll export this. In your media folder and KB. So go ahead and export that. Then we'll open up After Effects and we will import that edit. And it'll make a new comp for us. But we really are only interested in in it until uh, second 39. So right here we're at second 39. And I'm going to hit command K. And I'm going to reset the duration of our comp to 39. Okay. And so I've got the uh, time code up here, but basically what we need to do is we need to make each of our frames of video last longer but still remain in sync. So how we're going to do that is, and I'll, let me call this KB 6th of final. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Command K and we are going to change the frame rate to 3. And that will and if we uh, tighten this up just uh, for an example you'll see that basically every eight or nine frames is is being presented as a still frame so basically each frame is lasting a duration of eight to nine frames <clears throat> and so what we will want to do is to render this whole project we'll call it 3 FPS put it in your uh, After Effects folder and render that okay so I'm going to double click in the project panel and we are going to import that footage and we are going to it created its own comp right here, 3 FPS, and we are going to 
hit Command K, and we are going to set it back to 29.97, and let's see what we get. And so the next thing we want to do is we want to scrub down until the time code changes, right? So there's a change right there. So I'm going to highlight our layer and I'm going to hold Shift Command D to split it. And we'll go down to our next frame where the time changes. Split Command D. And so on all the way to the end. The next thing that we'll do is we want to pick each layer and we want to time enable them. So I'm going to I'm just going to I'm just going to grab these four just, you know, to speed up the whole process. So we're going to go layer time enable time remapping. And you'll see that they're all set at the beginning uh, of the uh, sequence. And so for these guys, we're going to want to go to the head of each frame create a keyframe for them. We don't need we don't need these guys. And we are going to select these keyframes. Well, next that we don't need this bad boy. And we're going to take these keyframes and I'm going to right click on it and we are going to toggle hold keyframe and so that will help maintain the, the, the length of that shot no matter how long we, we drag this down this it's going to hang at five seconds and then what we want to do is we want to go about five let's uh since we've only got ten seconds for each one let's go to Second three, undo. I just want this one. We're going to okay. We're just going to grab this bad boy and we're going to grab it to second three. So it's one, two, three. And then I'm going to hit for for all of these guys. What we're going to now do is mess with the opacity. And so. What we're going to do is we're going to create a keyframe that's 100 and we'll drag it to there because we want it to be at 100 as shot 1 is done. And then we'll go back to the beginning and we'll set it at 0. And then we'll do the same thing with everything else here. This is, uh, we want this to be 100. We'll go to 1, 2, 3. And set this one to be 0. Set that keyframe. We'll go three in and set that keyframe to be zero. And that'll give us that cross dissolve look for each of those images that now look like still images. And so when we apply this effect to real video footage, you'll see that we get that still frame look with a nice cross dissolve and everything will stay in sync. So good luck with your project.